Hello, my name is Dr. Chippins, and thank you for joining me here today as I take you on an adventure in science. Hello, this is Dr. Chippins, and the first scientific specimen I have for you today is this remarkable shaving cream. It has remarkable characteristics that I would like to show to you today because they just absolutely fascinate me. Magnificent cream has the most, well, I should call it a gel because it has the strangest pro properties. Let me show you. As you can see, it starts out as a little ball or glob of gel, but when I apply force, it becomes this peculiar cream. I do not understand how such jealous material can become so creamy and puffy and smooth to the face. It's just so soothing. I don't know how many of you have experienced this kind of material or even care, but it is truly fascinating. <laughs> Our next point of interest is this peculiar mechanism of force and gravity defiance. This small machine used to shoot flies instead of using a fly swatter is an amazing example of force and potential energy. You simply release the spring-loaded um, end of this side with this spring and it goes like this. Oh, dang it! But what is truly fascinating about this device is that for those who have some knowledge of levers and pulleys, they can surprise their opponent by simply taking the string, holding it to the side, and firing like this. Did you see how it shot to the side? So in this manner, you can go up to one of your buddies that you think would be nice to pull a little trick on, and point it at them like this. I'm going to shoot you! What? Hey man! Don't shoot me! Oh, I was only kidding. Oh, okay. Oh, man! As you can see, oh, it is an incredibly satisfying oh, sensation, shall I call it? So it! Oh, 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 I love it! Oh, oh, oh. Our next specimen is this magnificent creature which appears to be a rock. Quite an amazing disguise, and I have named it Montgomery Sebastian. Such a dear name. These amazing creatures are simply wonderful. I have had this little guy for about... Oh... Two, three, or four years now, I don't remember which, but he's such, he's so easy to maintain. He looks like a rock, but I am sure he's not. Um, he, he's quite, um, manageable, as he is nocturnal. I didn't neither hear him in the day, nor in the night, as I'm asleep in the night, and he, he doesn't wake me up. His only appetite is dirt. 
um, I've given him this supply of food ever since I've had him, and it has barely gone down at all. It's not even measurable, so it is quite easy to feed. Another nice feature about this little fellow is he is a very defensive and loyal pet. If anyone were to try to attack me, and I was going on a walk with my dear friend here. He would have no no worries at all if I picked him up and threw him at the face of my attacker. He is so loyal and willing to defend me. Another grand companion that I've had for... Oh well, I've only just captured him this month. But he is a little gummy worm. Simply remarkable. Many people are unaware of the fact that these strange little creatures... Oh, my. That tickles. Oh. Stop that. Stop that. As I was saying, many are unaware that these are sentient beings, and they very much frown upon their capture and their imprisonment in plastic bags and being eaten. It is... It is an abomination. But they've learned to cope with the fact that the life goal is to be digested by the greater human beings. But I would like to show you just the the grandeur of the and the biology of these strange little creatures. As you can see, it is lined with many ridges, many stiff ridges that are meant to protect itself, but it does not normally work. And you notice the dual color on this specimen. Many gummy worms have different colors and many are solid. Uh, they don't judge each other by how they look. You will also notice that you can see straight through, what will almost straight through, the white part of this creature, and that you cannot see his internal organs. That is because I am working on a re- Anyway, I have simply not chosen to eat my pal because he is a disgusting flavor. Well, I mean... You know, you're a nice guy, too. This has been Dr. Chippins, and I thank you for joining me in this excruciating adventure in science.